hell. It's about time. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Abon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. Here and welcome to another StarCraft to the Legacy of the Void campaign videos. We have played 15 missions, and I believe there are only three more, but I could be wrong. Check out the Spear of a Dude. While this loads, don't forget to like the video. And if you have not already, why not subscribe to see more StarCraft, more RTS, and more campaign playthroughs. All right, loading screen. I've said my bit. Let's see what Alarak has to say now that he has won his people and his country. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Yeah, so he seems pretty happy, I guess. Rohana. I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide, while his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia. Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence, but we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid, by the culmination of his efforts, false Zelnaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. Alright, she's still, uh, she's still problematic. Artanis. You should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society? They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us, changing us. Yes, we will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. I feel like she might have a point. Not Alarak exactly. has brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. Vengeance for the betrayed. Kassar de Templari. So I Vengeance can't. for the betrayed. I think I 
I just rather a high Templar? Is that... Let me know in the comments below if I've made a terrible decision. Solar output is stable, Hierarch. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. I like Phoenix. All right. Oh, wow. I think for now, I'm just going to do higher starting supply. Yeah, I'm happy with that. To the bridge. I think we're gonna go to Ire. Oh no. Iraq have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ayer until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. All right, let's go. Hierarch, as ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. warriors here. I know you were not trained for battle, Faye Smith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. Let's do it. Yes, though, again, it just seems like Mobius Core is tracking us. I think it's the, <clears throat> I think it's the ancient lady in the weaponsmith room. I think she, because she didn't cut off her uh, connection to the Kala, I think they're just tracking us through her. We'll find out. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. Oh 
Oh yeah, we really don't have a lot of minerals. This platform has been locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. The shadow spreads. I have access to the controls. The platform is operational. These navigational controls in the upper right of the command display will allow me to move it toward additional resources. Oh. The enemy will not be far, though. I should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Several banshees approaching our nexus. Amon has awoken. We sleep no more. Nice. Zero pack. Cry off. We are having 
difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of a Doom. Have you located their stasis chambers? My scans show two chambers nearby. They appear to run on Solarite. We could use it more than ever. Resources, man. Upgrade complete. So they don't have a lot, but I, I want to invest my extra income in the upgrades. Going left will give me a bunch of free stuff, which is I stalk I'm down the stalks. Understood.
Some experiments should never be done. This is sir. Buildings and my ships have higher shields, which is nice. Leaving soon, that's that's for sure. Okay, you have to destroy this, which I'm totally fine doing. But we're gonna go left and grab all of these real quick. And then we're gonna go north because we already we already cleared them out. We're just grabbing what little minerals we can grab. I'm all right at it, like honestly. That would not hurt. Alright, let's keep getting at it. We are ready. Yeah. I was just one. You can come on over here while we wait. Well, some of them have a lot. Mobius 
Earth's core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Faye Smith. Press on. Just grabbing the rest of this. So we're going to go left here, and then we're going to explore this area, grab all these resources really quickly, and then we're just going to go up, right? There's a bunch of resources again, and also we're going to mine and get more Vespine. Excuse me. Using those resources, I should be able to get this last upgrade. And I'm trying to think, like, what's the best way to defend? And honestly, like... Some dragoons and sentries just guarding the place might be enough so that the carriers don't need to keep coming back. So that's what we're going to use our influx of income on.
upgraded. So I'll build more carriers now. the bonus mission. Once I get eyes on, I have no problem traveling with Phoenix. Chambers are gone, and their solarite is ours. That went better than I'd hoped. Don't jinx it, man. <laughs> Why have we turned? All right, so you are going to be control group two. You're the you're the home defense team. join up, I think we can go north and, and explore what's up there. These two need to build their uh, interceptors. Attack ground and air units, they also repair shields, but they cost much less to build. So let's see this. Okay. Not that great, folks.
Phoenix is getting it done. Oh, one liners. So we are now waiting to collect from these mineral fields. We're also letting the Spear of Adun recharge all of its weapons and energy. Yeah, there's no market like in Age of Empires where you could uh, switch. I mean, uh, at a cost, so it's not ideal, you know, trade these two resources. That'd be nice. Mineral field depleted. Keep it up, boys. It's a lot of resources, actually. There's really nothing I can do. I could, I could build sentinels, but that's pretty much useless. I could build more. Turrets, I guess. I guess what I'm gonna do is I want more of this situation. So if at any point I start running out of population, I, I got pylons all over the map. It also gives me a line of sight so I can shoot the solar lands and the purifier beam, or maybe even deploy Phoenix at forces. I have both of these. I'll just use them defensively. Because we'll stop here. Just 
I just don't think it's worth it. some achievements. So we've almost beat this one. Oh. 
Question mark? Maybe. There's gotta be a post credit scene after that. I mean, there's no way. There's no way. Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured it because of the actions of Pretty epic. The age of casts have come to the end. So I guess people are born into their careers. And you're a Protoss. facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to 
to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers iron, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the psi matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Avon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. I didn't see that coming. I thought she'd be the problem. Alright, well this has been Noxus Flack playing StarCraft 2. I'll be back tomorrow to see what happens next. I will see you in the next one.